good Filipino morning to everybody. Derek with Q Adventures here brought I along today to uh, provide free labor. We're getting uh, ready to hop on this truck here. It's not a Toyota Tundra, but um, we're gonna hop on this truck here to pick up some uh, bananas, supplies for morning, supplies for the um, family store here. If uh, you guys remember from the very first video, this entire space was stacked with uh, green bananas and I guess um, the family has sold according to um, Anthony from the last video. He sold, sells uh, close to one ton, not quite one ton per week. So a few days ago, Anthony um, invited me or suggested to me whether, thank you. Anthony um, extended an invitation for me to uh, hop on this truck here to go with him uh, early in the morning to uh, go for a um, inventory pickup. So I'm gonna document this and share it with you all. So we're ready to hit the road. Anthony's gonna be the driver, of course. I'm gonna be the helper. Susie here, say hi. <laughs> He's coming, the three amigos. We will come and uh, we will help with the labor. Throwing some bananas on here. So we're in the truck getting ready to go. Bye. Thank you. Truck is too old. Anthony say the truck is too old, but it does the job though, right? Yes. Do you care that it's pretty and new? <laughs> it still does the same job, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a manual transmission. Manual transmissions in the Philippines or in Asia in general is very common, but um, yeah, it's pretty obsolete back at home, but this is cool. Me likes. And on the way we go. So the road to uh, pick up the banana is all jungle road. Uh, we're not going to hit the main road at all, uh, as I understand it. Who is that? Do you know? Do you know her? No. No? Oh. No. Now, uh, Anthony, how far is the Astoria from here? How many kilometers? Do you know? I think in this jungle road, we can take uh, 30 plus. 30 plus. kilometers? Yes, but in the highway, it takes maybe 100 plus kilometers. Okay. So cutting through the jungle is about 30 kilometers yes. and uh, the highways, uh, you're basically making a circle and it's uh, over 100 kilometers to get to the same point B. And um, how long does it take, uh, how many hours does it take to go through the jungle right here? Um, maybe it takes one hour, one hour and two hours. Okay, so it's between one and two hours because of the road condition. Uh, through the jungle, it's a one-way street over here, and you have to just yield to uh, oncoming traffic. So, um, going around in the highway is a lot more driving friendly, and the road conditions are much better, but um, of course, it's a longer distance. You're making a big circle. Oh, wow, that's a little stream, a little quick creek down there. Yeah, there's a little creek down there. I don't know if um, I caught it on camera. But yeah, going through this uh, jungle is just like all bumpy and stuff like that. But uh, you save a lot of um, distance, road coverage. Uh, but there's a pro and con, of course, give and take.
Man, we're on the way up to the small farm to pick up the bananas. And uh, look at this. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. I don't need to pee. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he was going to open the door for me, assuming that I was going to pee. Because uh, it's a pee break. But um, yeah, I just wanted to stop. Um, well, since they were taking a t uh, pee break, I just wanted to document this. We're all the way up in the mountains right here, taking the shortcut to cut through the, the mini farm to pick up the banana. And in the process, we make these little pit stops. Um, Anthony here, of course, you know, like uh, fries his own bananas at home and stuff like that. And he was just making pit stops to deliver to uh, uh, the, these fried bananas, sugar, you know, like uh, sugar glazed uh, banana chips to the local sorry sorry stores uh as a, you know like um uh he, he of course anthony is the i'm sorry i'm a little bit lost for words here uh with this scenery but of course uh anthony is the um supplier of the banana chips to these uh smaller sorry sorry stores and he you know he was just um deliver it delivering it on the way to pick up the bananas to the small farm and he wholesales these little bags uh i don't have a visual reference here but he he, he wholesales it for four pesos per bag uh and the sorry sorry stores uh in return retails it for five pesos with only one peso uh profit margin and uh of course the current exchange rate is 56 peso to the one us dollars so you can put that in perspective. So this is the first pickup right here. Okay, Anthony, you said with no owner, why? Like the owner, they, they prepared because they know that you were coming to pick it up, so they prepare it and they just leave it here. And you brought the scale with you. Did I pay when we come back? So you just, they just trust you with the merchandise and the next time you see them you pay them yes. so you just wait and confirm this is like a a trust system yes yeah and this young man here is um his name is jesus in most latin america it's pronounced jesus jesus is a very uh, common name but in the philippines here um they straight up call him uh you know, it's pronounced Jesus. And I just learned from the car ride here that um, Jesus here is employed by Anthony's family to uh, basically do odd jobs, or not odd jobs, but uh, you know, he, he does it all. He, you know, like um, does all the jobs uh, for the family on the property and off the property to help the, the business in general. But right here, of course, you know, like um, Jesus came with us and he was riding in the, uh, the bed of the, uh, the truck, which is very normal here in the Philippines. And they are just verifying uh, the, the way just to keep everything kosher between the merchant and the buyer. So that's what it is. I'm gonna pause it here and help out with the labor. And uh, we'll turn back the camera back on for the next pickup. So Jesus is just uh, organizing the uh, bananas here in the back of the trucks uh, just to make it a little bit more organized so they can uh, load more merchandise on here. So as we were getting ready to go, the seller, hi miss. Uh, appeared and we have the privilege of meeting the seller here more bananas to wait so Anthony um, how much do they charge you per kilo with these bananas 15 pesos per kilo 15 one five yes. and how much do you sell it at your store per kilo 25 pesos so you have a 10 peso per kilo uh, margin not a 10 because it will weigh um, it will be less or more uh, lighter it'll be lighter it, it comes to dry 
So when it ripens, it's lighter. No, uh, it's like when it uh, begins to uh, nowadays, uh, later days. Oh, so, I understand. Yes. Uh, when okay, I so let me really explain. I can't really explain. Okay, let me explain it and then okay, okay. tell me if I'm right or wrong. Okay. When the banana first. Uh, come off the tree is still moist yes, from yes, the tree yeah, there's I mean. still a lot of water uh, uh, content uh, so when it sits at your store for a little bit uh, it starts to dehydrate and the yes. water content disappears so it becomes lighter yes. so on the surface it looks like you're earning 10 pesos uh, margin per kilo but in reality it's less than that yes. because of the water weight yes the, the, to it, we have to spend um, uh, what you call that uh, medicine or what you call that kalburu. You know kalburu. So it's just a chemical, yeah. Ah, chemical. Yes. And it's very um, expensive. Okay, so the chemical is very expensive, also. Yes. And then, of course, you know, like uh, you're not picking up all the banana inventories from one supplier you're going to different places yes. and there's a cost of gasoline mm -hmm. and there's a cost of uh paying jesus back there yes yeah so all these costs add up so on the surface you know like uh it, it appears that you know like um the family is earning 10 pesos uh, uh margin per profit per kilo but after you factor all these um expenses in it's just uh barely anything wow look at that holy smokes do you want me to stop no no just keep going wow that's some elevation there and uh bird's eye view of uh, all the farms underneath so this is a second pickup right here yeah Anthony's intention was to go down the road to pick up from somewhere else but these gangsters look the gangster looking people just insist that he uh, pick up from here first <laughs> So second pickup, same process, weigh, pay, throw it on the truck, move on. Is it cool if I get your, uh, I wanna, oh sorry, <laughs> this way here. You farm bananas, yes. so you climb up the tree and uh, you take it down, or you use a ladder. They cut and oh, they cut the whole tree. Yes. And then they harvest. Wow, how long does it take for the tree to grow back? One year, two year? Yes, two years. Two years. Wow. Oh, that's the process, guys. Hello. You have a passenger in the front, the driver, and a big old sack of banana in the back. Going up mountain roads. Look at the terrain. Up in the mountains that is infamous for gun makers, underground gun makers, homemade guns. Do you dare to come up here? Me being here is uh, a great privilege to be toured over here by uh, Anthony, of course. Without him, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dabble in this. Look at that. There's no paved roads. Everything is just... Uh, Janky and this truck right here as old as it is 
you know, the suspension is completely shot. And I'm guessing that this is the security for the battery, the car battery, not to be jacked. But this is the terrain that we were going on with uh, practically no suspension. So I didn't care to uh, turn on the camera because uh, even with the gimbal, you know, it's just uh, going up and down these bumps. And, um, you know, it causes me a headache <laughs> being in the vehicle, let alone uh, you guys watching from home. This is supplier number three. They got a, uh, they got it all laid out on the street right here. So Anthony just uh, take this path up and just stop by these merchants and um, take out the scale and uh, weigh it, dump it on the truck. A day in the life of a banana merchant. So they put this board up. I'm trying to figure out what the purpose is. Maybe to uh, put bananas there and um, create some leverage, hold the board up so they can have more space to stack the banana higher without it uh, falling off the truck. Let's see if my uh, observation is correct here. Just from reading uh, Anthony's body language, every time we get ready to go, you know, at first there was an inventory, a stack of bananas there. Uh, after we stack everything up here, you know, apparently there was another stack over here, which we just moved over. And when we're ready, <laughs> when I thought we were ready to go, there's another hidden stack over here that we're going to stack up and uh, get that weighed on the truck and onward with the next one. So getting back to this right here, it looks like I was correct. Uh, they put this board up and uh, some bananas down there to hold it for leverage. So um, it just creates a uh, uh, the cargo space, expand the cargo space a lot much uh, bigger uh, to hold more inventory. So you know nothing will, um, no no merchandise will fall uh, overboard as he's driving. But uh, the way they drive here up in the mountain, especially with no suspension and these kind of terrain uh, it's very slow moving so this is the fourth stop and final stop this uh, supplier here has uh, a lot an abundance of bananas everything is covered from the being exposure to the Sun of course <coughs> everything is under the banana leaves as you can see there so, um, also over here, so what Anthony was saying before I turned on the camera is just, um, there's a lot of inventory and uh, perhaps it wouldn't be able to fit everything on the truck. <laughs> Although he would like to grab everything today and just make a one trip thing, um, he's afraid that this won't fit in his cargo area his uh, flatbed in the back so you know he might perhaps need to come back another day to pick up the rest of the inventory which adds to the cost of doing business uh, of course um, uh, extra effort extra salary and extra gasoline um, expenditure so um, let's do our best and see what we can do with these boards he just put another side panel to uh, contain the bananas uh, contain the um, supply inventory so so it doesn't just fall off board try to fit in as much as possible Filipino ingenuity while everybody is working over here these two kittens are just playing look at that Uh, agile little kittens.
The process is uh, just fascinating. It's just like, uh, for a lack of better word, it's just like uh, buying crack. <laughs> uh, just my sense of humor, guys. From LA, um, they have these bananas in the burlap sack, and they're gonna dump it out. And they're gonna weigh it on the scale. The merchant travels with the scale everywhere. You weigh it, uh, you calculate it, you settle the bill, and it goes in the truck. And uh, we pretty much bought everything, or Anthony, not we, uh, bought everything on that side of the street. And then uh, we're working on this side of the road over here. We still have all these to go. So each of these stacks are from different merchants, from different growers actually, I apologize. And uh, that's one grower right there in the hat. There's another grower, and uh, this is another supplier over here, and they're just helping each other out to speed up the process. So that's the end of it right here. Um, the truck is too small for the cargo. The truck is, um, well, getting back to these boards, uh, I guess, you know, my, my guesstimation was uh, precisely correct. It just helps contain the bananas, the cargo within the truck. And the truck is just uh, completely filled with cargo. So much so that uh, there's no more tire clearance. And I think this is supposed to be what the tire clearance is <laughs> supposed to be. But um, there's so much cargo that uh, the tire clearance is uh, non-existent at this point. So uh, what they're doing is they're weighing the rest of the inventory right here. Just put it on the, the side. Just uh, settle up with the sellers. And Anthony said he's going to come back tomorrow and pick it up by um, motorbike. So that's another adventure in itself. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to join in that adventure. But... Um, this is what it is. We're going to head home right now. They're going to um, finish weighing these inventory, settle up. I don't know if they're going to put this on the side of the road to be picked up tomorrow, but um, we're going to head back and unload. So, yeah, it's just confirmed that um, they're weighing everything and Anthony's going to settle up with them now. And the inventory that Anthony paid for is going to sit over there in that pile overnight. And uh, it's an honor system. Anthony uh, confirmed that, you know, uh, of course, not everywhere in the Philippines, but because it's the mountain um, region, uh, everybody's neighborly, and uh, the honor system works very well over here. So Anthony will just come in, come by tomorrow without these merchants being here, uh, without these sellers being here, and he's just going to manage uh, the rest of the inventory there, uh, put on his bike load and stuff like that, and just take it home, transport it home. So Jesus and the gentleman here are camouflaging the uh, banana inventory. Uh, not so much from human beings, but from uh, the sun rays and animals. Well, not so much animals, but uh, the sun rays and other elements uh, that may or may not cause damage to it. And um, there's a netting right here that they're going to cover the bananas, cover the cargo so uh, the cargo doesn't fall overboard. It's just a way to contain the cargo uh, through the bumps and the stuff like that. I'm going to help out. Yeah, just in the process of helping out, um, this gentleman in the hat, which is the seller, is helping out and he's more efficient with it than I am. So it's just going to yield to him and make the thing more uh, proficient. But Jesus here, it's very uh, thoughtful, very knowledgeable, and um, 
of the entire process. Even in the uh, banana weighing, he identifies uh, some bananas that um, might not be good and um, removed it from the uh, inventory. And um, me, an untrained eye, you know, I couldn't identify the defect or anything like that and why he would remove it from the, the pile. But um, apparently they are trained at this and, ooh, and are able to tell even with the different breeds of bananas here. Um, there are f some for cons consumption and some are um, plantain-like and um, they're not, I mean, they're used for cooking and um, making banana chips and stuff like that. And uh, they're, they're not appropriate for consuming. So I can't even tell the difference. So these um, guys, of course, this is their business and they are, uh, this is their profession. And uh, of course they, they, you know, this is like second nature to them. Look at Jesus go. very productive very efficient and this is his work of course under the employment of Anthony and um, um, Anthony's family give him the opportunity to lead a normal life and a very productive life and um, this just makes him feel important and uh, full which is cool so we arrived home for four hours later we arrived home so they're just gonna, the employees are going to uh, unload the bananas back into storage right there. But 